Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. I pull up roto window down it. Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. Happy holidays, everyone. Be sure to head over to our website at www.h4ht.com and shop your holiday buy ho 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 merch, which is a limited edition holiday collection. You can use code H4HT for free shipping on all items, including the bundles, or you can use holiday sale, a single holiday mug. You can get it in winter green or Christmas red. And we also have our t-shirts and sweaters you can order today. And just to let you know, if you catch me on live, you can use the code now live for 20% off of all items. This collection won't be available for long as it is limited edition. So take advantage of the sales today. Happy holidays, everyone. Enjoy your holidays. And remember, bye ho ho the haters away. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more of a dusty damn breakdown because tomorrow I'm gonna try to talk more about Bell Collective, Salt Lake City, and Real Housewives of Potomac. So I seen a clip of last night's episode of Dusty Dan Trash Can Stan and Mel's baby mama and the scenes that they have been having. And of course, this one particular scene stood out to me, and it was when Mel's baby mama seemingly made a joke about Dusty Dan's boyfriend being around and to not be playing around because Dusty Dan Trash Can Stan said that Mel's baby mama should know what little D energy is and Dusty Dan Trash Can Stan told Mel's baby mama he was jealous after Mel's baby mama said you should know don't act like that your boyfriend around or something like that don't worry about it I'm gonna post the clip see but this is the thing that I was talking about in the live video when I was talking about Dusty Dan Trash Can Stan not putting her lips on real bitches because she fake in one breath, she's trying to convince the world that LeBaric had been some sort of her abuser and she was a victim of DV in their relationship. But in the next breath, she's co-signing an abuser in his lies by co-signing him lying about him being convicted. So he sat in a scene trying to convince Dusty Dan Trash Can Stan that he wasn't convicted and it was a lie and they gonna get it figured out. The same thing he did with Marceau but he's actually convicted. In that scene, in her storage, her U-Haul storage, Dusty Dan Trash Can Stan was basically stating that she would put together this event, and when they were having the conversation at her U-Haul facility, he was convicted. So her even trying to invite Mel to that little event was odd considering there was a no contact order but this is a woman that want people to believe that she was a victim of dv and i already told y'all i'm not here to invalidate her experience i'm just letting y'all know why dusty dan to me is somebody that i can't resonate with and i kind of see through her she's a walking contradiction in my opinion and she has this victim complex that is similar to male's baby mama martel and i think they are more alike than not she is kind of a a narcissist to me because she also tried to convince the world that she was offended by Melody feeling like she was messing around with Martel and she was upset saying that Melody insinuated that her and Martel was messing around she even said that on a girl's trip yet like Mel said at the reunion you were calling his phone at three o'clock in the morning I don't know that's kind of odd to be calling your friend's ex-husband at three o'clock in the morning but she's more upset at her friend or 
her ex-friend for feeling some type of way about her getting closer to her abuser than her actually getting closer to her abuser. Martell has made comments insinuating that her that him and Dusty Dan Trash Can Stan are closer or in, more intimate in that way like you would see in last night's episode. Also like you seen earlier in the season where he was saying that her baby looks just like him. So to me, Dusty Dan is a walking contradiction and she has this victim complex and it's very dangerous. She's a dangerous woman because in my opinion, like I said in my live video, she would link up with an abuser and then try to railroad you. Turn a blind eye to his wrongdoing onto you Act as if there's wrongdoing being done to her by you and then try to do harm on to you out of her own delusion. And at the end of the day, when we really look at the entire situation with her and Melody, Melody felt like Dusty Dan trash can stand was being weird. So, so she took a step back. I don't know what woman would want to be friends with a bitch that's linking up with a man that's taking her through hell. That's real deal. Dusty Dan Trash Can Stan even took it a notch further by hanging out with the hoe that was harassing her ex-friend, the woman that put $6,000 in her pocket. So for the people that be going up for Dusty Dan Trash Can Stan in my comment section, I don't, I just don't see it. And I don't know what y'all see and y'all can see whatever y'all want to see. But when you get in my comments saying stupid shit like me bullying her, be fucking for real. This hoe got on national television and said another woman's mama was pimping her out. She never was accountable for it and she never wanted to retract it she got in her confessional and said that she said that she didn't really want to put it out there and then tried to say melody had told lies about her and we still waiting to hear the lies that Mel said about you you are upset that Mel feels like you weird with her ex-husband when her ex-husband said on national television last night, making a joke about you knowing about him having big D energy. And then you even laughed about it and said, mm, you seem jealous. So if people are insinuating that you guys have something going on, it's because you give very weird as fuck energy. And it's very not girl code. And the reason why I'm mentioning girl code is because Dusty Dan likes to act as if there's some type of girl code that she's upholding and she doesn't uphold any type of girl code y'all get in the comment section and let me know what you think though don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell so y'all are up to date each and every time that i upload i think winning that musical chairs is like a look energy really <laughs> musical chairs <laughs> winner <Money>. no <laughs> and your new boyfriend out here so don't be talking about what we you know what i'm talking about uh -oh. sound like you look jealous you looking cool how you doing What's been going on? Living life, you know, dating. Yeah. Doesn't the law look so cute? Look just like his Uncle Martell. I don't know how that happened. Hold on, hold on. Drink a little bit more so you can tell the truth. Destiny and a girl code. I said that, you know, Destiny might maybe sleeping with Martell. That's a whole bunch of stuff. She said Destiny maybe sleeping with Martell? <laughs> she didn't directly say it, but it was like. Martell been insinuating that too. Between Destiny? Martell makes jokes about that. What did he say? He says stuff like Law looks like him and stuff like that. Really? Yeah. I can see where, if Martell constantly make it seem like him and Destiny slept together, I can see why Mel would kind of think that. Martell has a way of saying stuff over and over and over and over. They did her. Destiny made a statement that was like, you try to go talk to a girl and tell her how to be a respectful cheater or how to cheat respectfully. You know, Mel and Martell have not been the best of friends, but do I think that that happened, no. Not, not, not on the surface, no. So you don't think Mel was trying to teach I don't the side think, chick how to respectfully cheat? I don't think there's ever been a wife. It don't even sound right saying it, Right, though. that's what I'm saying, so no. It don't, I don't even sound right. I think that when story... I ain't messing around with Martell, and you know it. If you don't know, I'm telling you. Hell no. I don't have time to keep trying to defend... Like, come on now. I'm probably one of the only female friends Martell got that he ain't. You know what I mean. But I've known Martel since I was 15 years old, and it's it's that's my brother. Yeah, I pull up Roto Window County. I pull up Roto Window County. Yeah, I pull up Roto Window County.
Jesucristo. Y paz.